What's up, YouTube? It is me, King Desire, coming to you guys yeah. with some Diamond Quid gameplay here on Black Ops 3 on the Xbox One. And I kind of decided to do this little episodic series for you guys of showing you guys how each of the Diamond I SMGs look, well. and along with some sick gameplay to go with them. So each of the gameplays you guys are going to see, there's a total of six gameplays, five or six gameplays of every SMG in um, Black Ops 3. They're all going to be Diamond in. I'm going to be trying to average between the 3 and 5 KD with them. The that's the goal. We're going to be playing team deathmatch for this particular um, little series that we're doing. Like I said, it's only going to be a few episodes long. And it's only going to show off the diamond SMGs. I am considering doing this for other weapon sets as well if I decide to get any other weapon sets diamond in Black Ops 3, which I'll keep you guys posted as time goes by and let you guys know if I'm going to do it or not. But I'm really considering it because this, for one, this was a very fun challenge for me to do and this was very um, interesting in terms of uh, the game itself. I've never really grinded for a camo. Oh, Last dude. time I actually did grind for camo was probably Black Ops 2, which was a very long time ago. And of course, it was on the 360. So, with that being said, I'm really hoping to do more Diamond related episodic series like this one in the future, depending, really depending on what happens um, with the game. And if I find this game more and more interesting, I may grind for more and more things. It really depends. I'm still kind of iffy about Black Ops 3. There are some things I really don't like, some things that I really do like, and I haven't really decided what I'm going to do in terms of YouTube related videos wow. and content well, for this you. game. With that being said, guys, I definitely like you guys' feedback on this little series that I started. The goal is 20 likes on each of the episodes. That is the ultimate goal. Um, I'm really hoping we can get that done. After this video goes live, there's going to be an either one or two more videos that are going to be right behind it of me showing you guys the other Diamond SMGs. I figure I'll show you guys the Kuda first because the Kuda, in my personal opinion, is one of the best looking Diamond SMGs in Black Ops 3. It looks completely amazing. It's just pure awesomeness in every way and you can actually really see the camo clearly on the Kuda than you can on the other SMGs. The other SMGs do look nice but not as well as the Kuda looks. Besides that the Kuda is a very good and a very powerful um, submachine gun with very moderate recoil and it works really good at medium to short range. It even can get people long range if you have long barrel attached. It is overall a beast of an SMG. Um, as uh, another cool thing about this little series that I want to talk to you guys about too, uh, while we're on the subject, is I'm actually going to be giving you guys a little information, a little in depth on the gun briefly while I'm showing you guys the gameplay. So I'm going to quickly get into detail about attachments, the best things that I did, the best game modes rather, for getting the headshots or getting some of the other um, camos done for this gun. For the particular guns, I'll show you guys the videos. It's, it's going to kind of be Rangers brief, but yeah, it's going to be yeah. very informative and very helpful for you guys. They're grinding at Diamond SMGs on your own. So, for starters, I would definitely recommend Hardcore Kill Confirm or Hardcore Dom for the headshot portions of um, the CUDA. The CUDA is a very, once again, powerful gun. And on Hardcore, it's about a one to two shot kill from most moderate. Even long range, it's about a two-shot kill. It really depends on how good your aiming is, and especially if you're uh, aiming only for the head, which is kind of what I did. Yeah, it dropped my KD a point, but a lot of people don't really care about KD in Black Ops 3. The aiming for the head really helps a lot when it comes to getting these guns' um, headshots done. Aim for the head, even if you, you're going to die a lot, just aim straight for the head in hardcore, and just you'll be set. You'll get, you can get the headshots done in about two to five games. A maximum of seven games, depending on how many headshots you're averaging per game. The goal is to average at least 10 headshots per game. 10, 10 to 20 headshots per game will get you your headshots within a very fast amount of time. And it doesn't really take much time to get all the headshots done at all. It took me about 30 minutes per gun, um, which is pretty fast. I was just, like I said, slaying going for those headshots, and it really benefited me uh, in terms of getting the camo. Now the recommended attachments that I would, you know, tell you guys to use would probably be Red Dot, Foregrip, and Quick Draw. By far some of the best attachments in the game for the CUDA. And it's what I use all the time. Even after I got a diamond, I still use the same setup because it's beautiful. 
perk wise, six cents will help completely in if you're doing your headshots in core or anything like that. Definitely hardcore. I mean, definitely six cents is what you want to go with, guys. It is one of the best perks out there besides ghost. Ghost is really helpful too, but six cents will help you better because you can actually see people all around you with the perk and it just makes things so 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 much easier when you're grinding for these camos with that being said guys i really hope this video helped you guys out i hope this video gave you guys a bit of information and helped you guys get a step closer to getting diamond camo on your sub machine guns be sure to drop a like and subscribe guys and i'll see you dudes in the next video peace